Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're up for another game with Orbital Potato. Hey, man. Oh, my goodness. I am excited to be doing some Supreme Commander. For sure. Back in the game. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Especially considering the massive amount of te technical difficulties we've been experiencing for the last few minutes. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, it's, it's just unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Skype has not been you treating us well. <laughs> you know what? Like... Like, if we were part of the older generation, and I say that with, with the kindest will in my heart, but they would be saying, oh, this is computers, you know, they more more nuisance than their help to you, you know? They'd, they'd sort of be, like, super, super aggressive. But it's okay. We're chill about it. And, uh, you know, we're just cracking on with uh, with speed and haste, I think. Maybe that's just my unique observation, perhaps. I don't know. I think I you're about know. right. Although I do yeah. think that may be a little bit of a repetitive redundancy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, we're we're calling we're calling over Steam today instead of Skype, which is like the weirdest thing in the world. It feels like super strains, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like really weird. Hopefully, like, we won't cool get too many time. hiccups. Maybe uh, maybe it won't crash yeah. out on us like Skype was. Anyway, oh my goodness, I've yeah, it's just this crazy, crazy, crazy business, absolute crazy business. Right, so give me the layout. What is the grand strategy for? this map what are we going to be doing reclaim Cause... reclaim everything oh, reclaim basically the same reclaim as any other everything. supreme commander map <laughs> <laughs> that, uh... that that is a good point that is a good point but out with the reclaim is there anything that i should specifically be looking to to do um well basically we need to seize control of the landmass however we can and um mm -hmm do our best to well sometimes the water can be useful if you can get uh well you're not cybern so i was about to say sometimes you can get a little <laughs> bit of navy working for you you if, if you are yeah. fairly secure in your positioning and can get a uef cruiser out that actually does amazing things as far as anti-air and stuff goes but for the most part i would focus on land uh maybe a drop wouldn't hurt yep. maybe um mm -hmm. maybe picking up Sorry, I'm doing things and trying to think and all this. Um, no, no bother. Maybe even building a couple of hover tanks and trying to go in the back door, so to speak. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. I like that idea a lot. And, uh, yeah, as you've already identified, there's a lot of reclaim that I need to make sure that I'm uh, I'm getting access to. Yeah, Ooh. I have. Uh, I'm working on my third land factory at the moment. Um, Your third land factory? Yeah. My I'm gonna have goodness. issues supplying enough power to do this, but the uh, the early reclaim is quite glorious on this for getting a really good oh, leg it up. Is lovely. It really is, and the fact of the matter is, it's not in the center of the map, which is like, for me at least, the most amazing thing. I absolutely hate bum rushes to the center of the map just to just to get reclaim. I despise it with every every little part of my body. <laughs> I, really, I don't blame I really you there. I really do dislike it. I really dislike it. I I don't know why, but I feel it just it just it sours things a little bit because I'm really not good at this whole bum rush business. You to, like your build up uh, phase to get units is what I'm hearing. I, here. You know what I do? I really do like my build up phase. I like uh, I like to plan the methodical execution of my opponent. You know? Well, that that got that, grim maybe real that's quick. Just me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> Sounded very Saddam Husseini, I think, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, oh, look. Right. There's a mantis. That's okay. I have some that can uh, stop it in its tracks. Yeah, me too. I've got an ACU. There we go. Okay. Okay. Everybody's busy doing something. That's cool. That's cool. All right. All right. All right. Things okay. are going great. Yep. Actually, they are. Oh, crud. <laughs> you you jinxed it. Shut up, you. Couldn't Shut have up. Been, couldn't have said that at a more opportune time. Shut up. Time. Oh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, I, like that. I like that a lot. I'm about to lose my hydropower okay. plant. This is going to hurt because my no. power situation is no. going to be atrocious. No. Ugh. Don't let... Oh, no. That's my fault for letting it, uh, letting it go 
without protection or scouting for that long, but whatever. That's cool. We'll get it back up. I I wouldn't worry about it that much. Like it's not a, a major issue. It's not a major dealio. That's actually Squirtle coming down and putting pressure on me. Fantastic. Oof. All right, but I'm gonna know, run my you know ACU up and maybe grab a gun upgrade or something. You know what? Whenever, whenever something bad like that happens, you just gotta, you just gotta say, "Oh, yeah, you know, I'm a YouTube celebrity now. Of course, I'm gonna be the first to be eliminated." You know, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be unbelievably arrogant about it. You, you <laughs> just... think you're, you think you're being funny, but this argument has been made multiple times in multiple different situations. I, I'm not surprised. If you want to be really sneaky, you could shoot an engineer down there and then like try to build up some land factories way down here. If you can slip around the corner of the map without getting noticed. Sometimes that okay. can be kind of hilarious, actually. So, yeah. You know what? You know what? Let me try it. Let me let me do it. I'll do it. Okay, move all the way out to there. All right, you know what? It's ballsy, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm actually, I'm actually pursuing a fairly aggressive uh, build-out strategy right now. Ah, there's the so... ACU. I got to get out of the way. Just getting as many units as I can. Run! And I just lost a Run, bunch of them to an overcharge. Run! Oh man. This is great okay. though. This is really, really nice. It's really, really nice to see all my hopes and dreams actually coming alive. And you know what? I'm going to build artillery because I never build artillery. I never, ever build artillery. Well, you should. For some obscure reason. I know! It's, it's a real shame, isn't it? Well, maybe not so it. much with UEF, but uh, definitely with. Um, if you have any structures to go against, absolutely, but maybe not necessarily mm -hmm. with UEF as far as anti-unit because their artillery is not exactly good for that. Oh, oh no, that's that's not what we want. Oh, engineers! Oh, please! Oh, engineers! You're just gonna get wrecked, son. Wrecked. All right, wrecked. we gotta get some radar wrecked. up here. And another run by, <laughs> yay! Because we're not paying attention. <laughs> that one hey, little don't, tank don't it's let, always let, so annoying <laughs> don't let the troubles reach me like i've like my big brother you're you're gonna be like the big brother to, pr to protect me right that's that's the plan all right yes so i'm gonna rely on your expertise so i don't have to play well <clears throat> you have a lot of mantis headed for you just so you know. i'm not worried would you happen to have any power on hand um Perhaps. Could you boost me a little power? Perhaps I could. I could indeed do that. I'm trying to get this gun upgrade done so I can actually do something to help you because you're about to get swarmed from two players. All right. What? Let's go this way. No, I th I'll be fine, I think. I'm not inherently worried, actually. I've got quite a lot of unit presence down here. Enough to push him back, to be honest, I think. I'm probably, you know what? I could be really, really ballsy here and go for a little gun upgrade. I think I might actually. I'm just gonna push out my ACU. I'm gonna keep on pushing around with All these right, units. I while gotta I've get got that the commander advantage. up here. Oh. You know what? Some heavy tanks are gonna do a little bit of damage to this dude, actually. Ooh, look at this! Look at this! One tenth of his health is down. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, retreat a little bit. All right, can you push your tanks retreat up north? I can push my tanks up north, yeah. Oh, you're going to get him. You're going to get him? I'm going to try to. Nice, nice. He went oh. for the T2 upgrade. That was a I need, mistake. I need some, no, it's actually not, because he's got uh, his teammates backing him up. Oh, no. I'm bringing all that I've got, man. I've, I've got some heavy tanks. He's going to be fine, and now so he's going to have the... Oh, no! Fire it. beetles! Crap! I'm what? dead. Oh, Brink. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I've got a gun upgrade. I've got a gun upgrade. I got one of Don't them. Don't have any anti-air, though. I'm down to 3,000 health, and they're pinching me. Oh, that was okay, tight. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. 
I don't think he has the gun upgrade, which is good. Please don't collide with okay. my ACU. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, my goodness. Friend, if you if you die... Retreat, retreat. I'm trying. Retreat. Retreat. He's I'm... hitting me with Mantis to the side and bombers. Ah, oh, no. Fuck. No. He's got, um... Yeah. He's gonna go down. He's gonna go down, but it's whether I go down as well. Yeah. Like with him. I, I think uh okay. I think your eight hundred is a... Oh Oh <laughs> What was that? Modka Fox I defeated. Yes. I can't even see if I'm so still much alive. yes. I don't even know what's happening right now. This is crazy. I think your eight hundred rank might be a little bit higher than his displayed score. Uh, you've got to get anti-air, <laughs> or you're going to be in major trouble. They lost uh, I'm getting anti -air. Modka Fox, but I'm not sure what they lost him to. Unless my ACU blast got him low enough in health that your T2 tanks finished him off. That's the only thing I can I think, think of. I don't quite know what's going on, actually. They were doing their absolute level best to troll kill me there. Um, He is building <laughs> oh, a T2 goodness. point defense creep. So your tank on the front end is taking fire from Cerberus turrets. You basically oh, have to get anti-air right now to get rid of those. Ah, uh, you got it. Flak. Cool beans. Yeah, I've got anti-air right there. And then you got to get some radar or something up to work on yeah. Squirtle. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. At least Ninray is doing a good job of reclaiming my base. <laughs> Hopefully oh, he can Dude, like, yeah. roll yeah. something out. <laughs> I feel like it's it's more it's more difficult to play with like a YouTube celebrity, you know, because they just get wiped out at the very start. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, terrible. it's my fault overextending on that one. Um, I I Wait, thought he was going gun upgrade, and I was gonna try to force him out of it, but in reality, he went T two, uh -huh. and he was able to get a T one uh -huh. point defense online in the back, and I just could not, for the life of me, get enough power yeah. together for an overcharge. And uh -huh, uh -huh. then the fire beetles. Yeah. Yeah. So not anyway. great. Not great. There is oh, a well. lot you know of what? air you know around that... though. That's a problem. You know that strategy of get a factory down to the bottom corner? Yeah. Right? That we talked about. Oh, look I at that. I totally did that. I totally <laughs> managed it. Yeah. Are you How going T2 with it? Yeah, go to T2. Okay. Okay. Here's what you need to do. Build T2. Okay. Get a T2 engineer yeah. and build a stealth generator. A stealth generator, okay. Yes. So you can stealth that okay. in the corner. And then you uh -huh. should... Um, you, can e you can do one of two things. You can either build TAC launchers oh, oh, no. and TAC missile snipe them in the back. Oh, you I'm got... In trouble. I'm in trouble, friend. Yeah. Ooh. I'm in real trouble. Ooh, so many T2 tanks. That's not oh, good. Oh, that's a problem. Get to the water. Get to the water. Ugh. I don't gonna... think I'm gonna. Uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's looking very good. Zigzag, so you don't get hit by all that artillery. Do you have enough for an overcharge? No, I don't have an overcharge. Dang it! I don't have any extra storage space. Oh, oh no! Nope, you're oh, dead. Sweet Mother Mary, Sweet Mother Mary, dude. Come on. Oh, no. The water no. was too shallow. You couldn't get your head under. Uh -huh. Oh. The north side is getting T2 point defense oh. creeped as well. Oh, no. What scumbaggery is that? Oh, look. Uh, my, my... He's doing the same yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That That's sad, though. That was going to be so much fun with that little factory in the bottom corner there. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, well. And those Wagners what are fast. Shame. That's going to be a problem. They are really fast. They were just like, boom. And yeah. wow. Like, I had a radar on my little island, but I just must have completely missed it. Either, like, fighting with, 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 fighting with you. Fighting yep. side by side with you. Um, or something. I have no idea what happened there. But All of the wow. amphibious that tanks are essentially raiding units. They trade, mm -hmm. um... Yeah. They trade firepower and health for speed and the ability to go over water. 
Yeah. So in yeah. the case of the Wagner, you actually um, it has about the same DPS per mass as the um, as the Rhino does. It just has less health. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And then most of your others, like the Blaze, has much less damage and such as the obsidian typically your mainline combat tank is going to perform better in like 90 percent of battle scenarios but um, Mm -hmm. those raiding tanks when you get them around the outside edge they're just so fast they're hard to stop yeah yeah wow interesting point the um the rhino the mainline cybern t2 tank the Wagner uh-huh. is actually better at killing ACUs than the than the Rhino is because they do the same damage per mass, but there's less health in a Rhino. You get, or I'm sorry, there's less health in a Wagner, so you get more Wagners okay. for the mass, and yeah. therefore yeah. it takes more overcharges to kill them, making them more dangerous uh-huh. to the ACU. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I did not think that that was the case. Huh. Oh my goodness. I I don't hold up much hope for our teammates, I'm afraid. Yeah, we as, may be as in sad for as it is. a little bit of a viewing scenario here. I feel bad. Both of us died I mean, right off the bat. <laughs> you know what? You know what? See, I was, I was going to feel bad, and then I thought, no, you know what? I was brave. I tried to come to your defense. I sheltered you from the destruction, and you blew up in my face, right? So that's where I'm attributing the blame to. Okay, that like it's all it's all with you. All right, man. It's, I'm I'm picking up the shovel. You know what? Shoveling I'll, it all to Mister Brink of Insanity. I'll, there we I'll go. take it's it. All yours. I'll take it. That's that, that that's okay. No, no. I, I I will I will collectively share the burden with you. Oh, but ah, it's so annoying. I should have just ZZ. gone to the water and. Yeah, ZZ has got ZZ. the um, the commander shield, the shield oh, upgrade. Wow. He's got both guns and open. the shield. Yeah, so that's going to so give him a happen? buttload of health to burn through, and he is basically just going to plow through everything Yeager can throw at him. This is concerning right here, but I mean, he's just got two so tech, much health. Two point defenses, though. Yeah. Two to, oh, he, he just, um, he just, what you called it? What'd you call it? What'd you call it? What, veterancy? He just yeah. veterans. Veterans. Yeah. That's the one. So you're vetting and, and gaining uh, health the whole time. Uh, although he, wow. you're right. He does have two. Nope. There we go. He's got mobile missile launchers with him. So he is killing off the point defense as he goes. But yeah, that's this shield. Guy is just like a superhuman. Wow. That shield can that's soak crazy. so much damage. It really can. That's impressive. And his dodges as well. Oh, what a nice overcharge, killing three of his units. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad at all. But he is just so out of position. It looks like he, he hasn't even built up any sort of land force. He's just gone, no, nope. invest in his ACU, invest in his ACU. Well, he had some wow. accompaniment to start with, but he lost a lot of it through that battle. Mm-hmm. But now he's mm-hmm. starting to move forward again. Yeah, Yeager's after going to get in the water. Is he, is he going to get him? No, he's not going to get, get him, him, but he is now no. going to... He he has now broken the position, basically. Yeah. Will will that make the difference, though? Will that change the game, do you think? Or is it... Uh... I, I think... Or will it just... No. Has, because... Has the tide of the war already been dictated? Our, our team is now getting their mexes sniped. Mm-hmm. The economy is going into the tubes. Yeager is set that's, up reasonably yeah. well for this, so I don't think he's going to have a problem. But Ninre has gotten gotten the snot beaten out of his base. Yeah, I I do like this ambitious wall off though. Like that is impressive to say <laughs> the least. I mean, how long must that be? That must be like a couple of hundred meters to say the least. Well, not yes. in game, but like <laughs> it's quite long, isn't it? It's quite yeah. impressive. It's cutting off unit wow. flow. Yeager's not Yeager. ZZ had to jump back in the water. His shield went down, and he's got a bunch of corsairs on him now. Ooh, there's a strap bomber for Ninray. 
Oh, wow. Not sure how much good well, he's going to do with it, but... Yeah, like, what's he going to target? He's got two strat bombers now, actually. Oh, oh that's going to be brutal. Look at that. Uh, why did he not bomb the power? <laughs> I thought <laughs> he was going to, and he killed the, the mass area. extractor instead. It, <sighs> there's explosives there. <laughs> He built three storages <laughs> in between his freaking power generators. <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> yeah, I think one he's bomb. Go, he's oh, there it goes. He's going to. He's going to. Okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that's something. That that's is quite enough. something. I really did. So, is is that going to be enough to shred Jaeger's economy, though, or is it going to be just? Man, you know, it's it's all right. We can we can actually fight back yes, it's going to cause a ton of damage because. He does not have resource allocation on his ACU, and uh, that was pretty much all of his power. So he is now, he's probably got significant overflow from his teammates, so it's probably not a critical situation, but that is definitely going to put a damper mm -hmm. on his abilities, like, say, overcharge and stuff like that, because he does not have Absolutely. the excess power. He's trying Absolutely. to build it back up, though. Yeah. And it looks like in the meantime, ZZ is just going to continually harass Jaeger until he moves out of the water and engages him. Well, he's actually is... out of the water because of that. What's going on? There's a Tech 2 torpedo launcher that was slugging a his torpedo ACU. torpedo launcher? Yes. Oh my goodness. So he's trying to juggle in the water, out of the water to stay alive. Up, oh, his, his shield mm -hmm. is back up, so he's good now. He's, he's sorted. Man. I feel that that's it's so cool, isn't it? That personal shield. It's so very, very cool. And this is yeah. going to be yet another blow to Jaeger's power. Holy cow. Especially on the Aeon ACU because no. oh. that double gun upgrade is just brutal. Yeah. He's just absorbing the hits and he's just not taking any damage. Wow. Impressive. I, one, one more hit on that power generator, on that hydrocarbon power plant. There we go. I just Beautiful. realized that I have no game sound. You have no game sound. <laughs> Did that break as well? No, it's on. Ten, you know what? S some days just everything breaks. So maybe Skype today broke, just, like, and then your time. internet broke, and then Skype broke again, oh. and then <laughs> oh. <laughs> now the sound's Skype broken broke again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll oh, just man. take what we can. You know what? You know what I think is fantastic is that. Is that ZZ's base has been like completely untouched? Like there's not much damaged in his base at all. I think he That's lost crazy. one mech this entire time. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> That's awesome. He's and got he's harbingers just, like, out, harassing everybody else. He's already got T3 Man. land. Tier three land. Holy cow! He could he could go to yep. town with that. There is a problem, though, because that's a T3 commander, which can now build SAMs, so he's going to have defense from the strat bombers, and I imagine we're going to be, be seeing a monkey lord very, very soon from Squirtle. A monkey lord? Wow. Yes. Okay. That's not something that uh, I expected wow. you to say. I... He's got seven T2 point defense uh -huh. in his base to keep that ACU away. <laughs> That is that is strictly <laughs> ACU defense. <laughs> could he could he take that? Could could ZZ take all oh, of no. those seven no, no, point no, defenses? No. 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 I don't think he could ever wow. get enough of them killed off before he lost his shield mm -hmm. to not die. Especially when you've got yeah. like twenty Corsairs right there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of Corsairs. Yeah. Wow. We haven't we haven't even seen uh, mistake not my opponents. We haven't we haven't really seen him do anything over the past couple of minutes. Five that's that's minutes actually or so. more concerning than anything. Yeah, well, I I would suspect it probably means that he's going to go for a, a tier four sort of structure. Oh, right as I ping it, there's a scout already headed that way. <laughs> All right, he is getting the T three upgrade. It looks like. Yeah. Well, no, that yeah, I think that's right hand. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. This Nothing looks super there, sketchy. Doesn't, doesn't, it's not unwinnable. Yeah, there doesn't seem... There doesn't seem to be anything coming out of him. Like, <clears throat> do you reckon it's, it's feasible that he's just building something down in the very corner of the map? 
that would be that would be my guesstimate. It is feasible, doing. and there goes the scouts. Yeah, there is a lot of units down there. A lot yeah. of units. Ugh. Yeah, that that is that's an unwinnable position right there. I mean, even though he's got three point defenses, and he's building yeah. a shield generator, it's gonna crumble. If he can get this galactic crumble, colossus up. Um, that can deny that, and it'll get a lot of veterancy off of it as well. So that'll be good. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be tough. Oh man, the Harby this push is strong is though. Be tough. <laughs> yes, there we go. ZZ with his tier three. That's a brick though. He's going up against a brick. Yeah, bricks no match for four harbingers. Two yeah. bricks is no match for four harbingers. It's going to kill that one. He's going to get one. He's going to get one and potentially a second. Um, with his third brick. Nope. And he's trying I to kill off yeah, the eco. You just need to, yeah, you just need to pick away at that eco. Yeah. There's a steady yeah, stream a of bricks coming out, and it's slowly but surely going to eat those harbingers. Mm -hmm. It's doing an impressive job, though. Like, that's uh, a lot of resources that you've already shredded with with yeah. what is a pretty medium investment. And that's why um, oh, that's why regenning shields is a plus for the harbinger because that one, um, yeah, it was down to 120 health. I think that's the second time it shield's gone down. Um, it almost mm -hmm. died a couple of times, and the shield popped up just in time. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, there we go. Well, his other dude's still in four health, and he's going to... Oh, my goodness. Corsair's coming in. There we go. Corsair's the Is one thing the, sure to yeah. take you off. Oh, Corsair's. They look so cool. They look so, so cool, don't they? They do. They're really freaking epic. Man. I, I, I love what ZZ's doing up here with his ACU. And his ACU is basically on full health. Like, how crazy is that? Yeah. It's fantastic. This this is worrying That's me right really here. That's really awesome. That, that is not looking healthy. And his Galactic Colossus is about 60%. 65, 70%. Ah. Mm. Ah. I see. This is going to be tight. have faith. If he can, you if he can faith, uh, land some overcharges with that commander, he's building an energy storage now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the strap bomber will Ooh, help as well. It's, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Not if it only, not if it gets like one hit kills like that though. Yeah, it's got a uh, point defense going down too. So I think, I think he can stall this long enough to get that galactic colossus online, and then the other team is gonna have issues, major, major issues. The only problem oh is going to be those Corsairs that come in. They're going to have to build some kind of anti-air. Because right now, I mean, they've got T3 air, but they've built no ASF. Uh, I think there were two yeah. at one point, but they got shot down. Yeah. Well, that Galactic Colossus is about 10,000 health away. Yeah, 86%. Yeah. 86%. It's not, not too shabby. But I just, I love what ZZ's doing here. Like, it's, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's yeah. really, really cool. Use the commander to hold one side and harbingers to hold the other. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he's single-handedly managed to pretty much eliminate Jaeger, right? He's taken out almost all of his energy. He's crept around the back of his base. He's forced Jaeger to actually build up a whole bunch of Tech 2 point defenses, which, for all intents and purposes, are completely out of position, right? They're they're completely useless for, like, the majority of the game. But yeah. he's forced that mass investment in the first place, which is impressive, to say the least. Plus, he's managed to push his Harbingers halfway across the center of the map. I think you he's know, about to do it again. There's where... one brick and some Medusas in between his Harbingers and free reign of the center. And now the Galactic Colossus mm -hmm. is finished. It's just going to be able oh, to trample yes. the south side. This is going to be beautiful. I am looking forward to this. This is going to be amazing. And, uh, yeah, should get, should get, uh, yeah, pro probably going to vet on this, actually, if he just keeps on pushing. And oh, he is definitely going to vet. I, I can understand oh, not wanting to gorgeous. control K it because you've got T3 and T2 in there, but in the end, that's just going to be food for that Galactic Colossus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is going to cause major, major issues for the other team. That Galactic Colossus is going to walk <laughs> right into that base. 
There wow. is nothing that's going to stop it. They're building a monkey lord. Ooh. Is it going to get up? I did not see it. We didn't get health. This next scout's going to get it, though. Oh, no. The Galactic nope. Colossus is going to arrive way before it completes. Yeah. This is going to be even more veterancy food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that hurts is, to watch. I, that is brutal. Like, you can just... You know that the death is coming. You're probably best to reclaim it now, actually, now that you know it's not gonna, yeah, not gonna get completed. You know, get the mass out of it. And he does have six flak with the GC, so he's actually gonna be able to kill mm -hmm. off the one and only T3 power generator that mistake or not mistake that Squirtle has. Goodness. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's vicious. That is vicious. And, and as soon as those Corsairs is, come in, there's no the flak. Look at the flat connect with the Corsairs. Just absolutely wow. wrecking oh my them. God. Half Jesus, the Corsairs down like in one pass. Half of them. <laughs> what the hell? We're... Is this even legal, what we're watching now? This is brutal. This is... Bah. The All last the stand of the Galactic Colossus. <laughs> The last stand? What are you talking about? He's gonna he's gonna go on butchering for for years to come. This dude, he's he's showing no signs of stopping. I mean, what did he take out? He took out a tier three power generator and three that is tier two. Glorious. Twos. The flak is dropping ASF wow. now. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is insanity. And to, oh, and to see that monkey lord just get eaten up. Yeah, wow. they've got to scout ahead of this shame. thing, though, because this is about to yeah. get a little sketchy running into unknown territory. And the Galactic mm -hmm. Colossus oh, wait, is now meeting again. with a lot of T3. Yeah. Yeah, although that flak support is going to mean that all of that Corsair investments probably going to be... Uh, it's going to hit the ground. ...underhealthed and dead. Yeah, it's, yep. it's going to be dead. One pass and it's down. Man, that veterancy wow. is good. Veterancy is real good. That really is. Yeah. Really, really is. See, and they're trying to kill off the flak with the bricks now. <clears throat> yeah. These tier two units coming in, though, so they're just going to be, once again, food for the Galactic Colossus. Yep. So. Could potentially, potentially get back up to full idea. health again. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe not the best idea to send those tier two units in, because I'm not entirely sure if they contributed to the battle entirely. Um may have survived without them but wow what a galactic colossus what a galactic colossus and that's Although, the entire south side wrecked <laughs> yeah get wrecked wow he's got another gc halfway built back in the base and oh zz is working on his own at 16 percent oh this is beautiful the underdog like i this this game has been crazy like this is a this is a fantastic 3v2 and it seems like the two are doing a darn good job of holding off yeah it's impressive it's, it's gonna impressive. get better if they can get some units to the south side because they've got to mm -hmm. get well mm -hmm. i don't know that's been pretty much swept clean of reclaim so i don't think there's anything there oh 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 that's not good that means they're building another What's monkey lord back in base they've got engineers there sucking oh. up that wreckage oh <clears throat> It's going to well, get a bit sketchy. If if anything can stop it, the Galactic Colossus can. Potentially. Yeah. For reals. Potentially. For reals. But you know what worries me even more is the fact that we haven't seen anything from Mistake Knot. Like, he had yeah. a couple of units. Part of me I feels like there's more? a Monkey Lord just crawling up the back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something suspicious. Yeah. Because Pink just just have no idea what is happening. Yeah. We know where a lot of his mass went because he mm -hmm. threw an awful lot of bricks that direction. Um, but... Yeah. Yeah. But not all of it. Not all of it. And there is the Monkey Lord. Just on time. Yep, he's going to die. Who is going to win this? Who is going to win this? The Monkey Lord is going to win like it, the and they're going Colossus. to reclaim the Galactic Colossus and immediately build... Oh, there's... There's another monkey. Oh, that's uh, we knew it. We we did gull it. We gulled it, man. We gulled it. 
It wasn't around the south side, but there was a monkey lord. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ninray is going to have right. another Galactic Colossus up, no problem. But now, Air is weak, and uh, South is not looking good again. He is just pouring Loyalists out of those factories. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. So, I, I'm i starting to get to the point where I'm thinking, hey, is it even possible to get past all of the defense unless you go for, like, a, a snipe or something? Because otherwise, uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to go the way of our friendly teammates. I mean, so, this Jaeger pickoff could happen, but... I, I have that, to point out that to to here we have... A shield upgrade double gun Aeon Commander versus a nano repair <laughs> upgrade gun T2 Seraphim Commander. So this is like War of the Rambo wow. comms, basically. <laughs> Although the T1 point defense building is going to win if ZZ doesn't overcharge those three point defense. Yeah, which you should probably do. There we oh, go. Oh, Corsair's coming in. Ha! The Corsair is actually... I think the Corsair has killed the point defense trying to kill the ACU. <laughs> I'm not totally mistaken That's there. That's quite something. That is quite something. So who would you reckon would win? Out of a battle between ZZ and Jaeger, who would have it? Um, Probably Jaeger, because he would be able to build... T1 point defense, I think faster than ZZ could kill them. Um, yeah, depending yeah. on how he positioned his ACU and used wall sections and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. It it would mm -hmm. be pretty close. The raw damage and health of the, AC, the Aeon ACU is higher, but the capabilities of a T2 commander just out... They outstrip it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to we're going to get into the strange situation where very very shortly we are going to see three galactic colossus actually on the field at once because Zizi has almost finished his. Uh Ninri has started his third one of the game and he's already got one that is deployed in the battlefield and uh tearing tearing up the earth, so to speak. Yeah. So oh, it's going to oh, be good. There's Monkey Lord. Galactic Colossus is going to be right at the front, though. Wow. What timing? What timing? He's got to target it, nope. though. You got to target it. There we go. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And uh, that point that point defense, it's going to be helping a little bit. Oh, got some my power God. that's oh. going to go down, but what overall. A shame. Oof. That's that's quite a lot of engineers. Overall, actually. that's a win, and that's going to be a massive mass donation. Yeah, right yeah. there, dropped right in the middle of the base, so he can conveniently pick it up. That is very <laughs> very friendly, actually. It's almost like he planned to do that. What yeah. a friendly dude, man. So it looks like Zizi's on the uh, the retreat, but not really because he's got like full health still. Like, it's crazy to say. Yeah, well, How he's probably keeping an eye on his shield, because you figure when your shield's down, you only have 16,000 yeah. health left, so when that shield starts yeah. to drop and you need to start a walking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I reckon this Galactic Colossus is going to get destroyed here if uh, if these oh. units are, uh, are anything to go by. Oh. That yeah. would be a Megalith. Where? What 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 what? There is there is a megalith like ninety five percent done right there. Ah okay. And then there's you a need... lot of loyalists around here. Yeah, you need either two I'm galactic colossuses is, is, or like <laughs> one galactic colossus with five or six or seven strat bombers to take on a megalith. Not to mention all of the other crap that was there. And ZZ's yeah. down. Yeah. His base Pretty is about much. to go kapoof. Yep. Doesn't stand much of a chance. That Monkey Lord is uh, up to full HP almost, and it's just going to be able to go on his own little private health. rampage. Yep, mm -hmm. gained about 20,000 health off of Veteran C, and now he is just going to wreck ZZ's base. ZZ calling it, I'm done! Oh, come on, Ned Ray, <laughs> don't rage. <clears throat> Play selfish all game. Really? Really? 
I, I don't know. Um, I like I, I don't really know if that was a selfish game because apart from not being overly aggressive on Jaeger, ZZ, I think ZZ's played a a, a fairly conservative little game here. You know. Just, just done what he's need to to get by. I mean, maybe that is the definition of selfish. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. But I think uh, ZZ. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Just walked into a point defense trap set by Jaeger. Yeah. Well, no. Well, Jaeger is just like building them up, like super, super fast. They're trying to kill that commander. The shield's down. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he is not and much longer for this world. A- they bring in a bunch of Corsairs or even Loyalists or literally anything, they're probably going to get the kill. Yeah. In fact, they might even get it. Well, there's a monkey up there, isn't it? Yeah, so that, that monkey's going to assist in uh, in picking off the ACU. Yep. Man, that's a yeah, lot that's a, that's a of Loyalists and Bricks on the south side. <sighs> Look there's at all a Megalith backing it all up. Shredded. Oh. What a shame. What a shame. Well, Ooh, he's walking into the water. There is a torpedo launcher in the water. <laughs> Ooh. When and there's you're, some, uh, some Tech 1 light tanks. That's weird. Yeah, they're just down there Why to kind of try there? to defend, I guess. Build up from earlier. Um, I, I, still, problems, but... I still like that little factory that you had down there in the corner. I wish that would have worked out. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you have to think I about really when you're wish, yeah. when you're launching into a game like this. You're like, how can I pull off a perfect shank here? Always <laughs> stab them in the back because then they can't see you coming. <laughs> I think I think the term is creative use of game mechanics. I think that's the that's no the no. It's definitely shank. It. It's definitely shank. <laughs> <laughs> It would have worked, you know, it would have worked if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Uh, no, it, it would have worked if I'd survived a little longer, I think. And uh, or I survived I a little longer. Survived, I would have survived a little longer if you'd survived a little longer, I think. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. You just get beeline so hard because, you're, you know, you're this massive YouTube celebrity. And, I wish uh, you would stop saying that. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh man, Ninre calling he's it. I'm got, done. He's got two Galactic Colossus got, in his base, but he's still got two Galactic Colossus. I yeah, but oh my goodness, a Megalith there, and I think it was yep. that a second Megalith. No, it's a Monkey Lord and a Megalith uh, that are gonna storm. You know what? I honestly feel that like half of those situations could be averted with just maybe a little bit more scouting, a little bit more intelligence information in the first place. Yeah, you know? yeah, but. Hey ho. ZZ is is quite literally going balls to the wall against Jaeger up here. This battle has been raging since the very beginning. And I, part of I, me I, just wishes he would give up and die already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Oh it's, man. It's it's sad to see him still like continue to try. What a shame. What a what a crying shame. The eco on At Squirtle least... is pretty damn massive. Is it? He's got... I'm not surprised. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven T3 mechs and quite a few T2s. Uh-huh. Probably uh-huh. bumping up on 250 plus income. You know what? Like, I reckon... I reckon... You know, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance could be converted into like a fairly successful like first person shooter. And I mean that with like all seriousness. And I know people are like going to totally hate me for it, but I think it looks <laughs> absolutely fantastic in first person. And you just get like another view of the world when you like look at it in first person mode in comparison to the strategic view. Yeah. You know, I think it looks so darn beautiful in first in first person. You're talking about uh, scroll zooming way in and panning around, like look yeah. over the shoulder and stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. So sorry, third person rather than third person. rather than yeah. first person. See, in- yeah, interesting person. interesting note. If you press Control V, it enters free camera uh-huh. mode, um, and it does uh-huh. not snap back to the str- to the like overhead view. Um, uh huh. So you can uh, you wow. can actually position the camera over the shoulder of your ACU and go to town. 
That's awesome, isn't it? I spy a monkey lord right looks, next to ZZ. Looks so nice. Looks lovely, actually. Looks really very, very nice. It's a very, very pretty game, you know? Yeah. But it's also like a really cool game on a strategic level. Well, what is note, this guy doing? If you do if you do, do control V, um it's uh it also takes away sections of your user interface to clean it up because it's assuming that you're uh -huh. looking at the game. You're not actually like playing yeah. hardcore. So it's not really feasible yeah, yeah. to play that way, but it is interesting to look at it from yeah. that perspective. Yeah, no, I would, I would probably try not to play that way. <clears throat> there we go. That's going to be his dad. And Bob's your uncle, fan there he goes. <laughs> Boom. There we go. All right. That is GG. This is probably the longest GG. I've ever sat and watched a game that I died in. <laughs> But whatever, we it had to see the it, conclusion. <laughs> I think it was totally worth it, yeah. Without a doubt. Just uh, oh. yep. look at look at all of the units. I mean, how many megaliths, how many how many monkey lords? There was a lot. We were up to four, five monkey lords. Four bunch, monkey lords yeah. and a megalith, and then at least four Galactic Colossus from our side. Lots of wow. T fours. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, Potato and I are about to play a game which is going to go on his channel. So you should totally click the link in the description. Check out that one over there, and we'll see you guys over that way. Bye.